Well, I kind of miss doing camel grinds, so I did the PTRS yesterday, also known as the anti-tank rifle. I'm going to call it the PTRS in this video, and probably for the rest of history, because for those that played World at War, it was called the PTRS then, and it rolls off the tongue a lot smoother than the Gorenko anti-tank rifle. So I got the PTRS diamond, and it was a lot of fun to go back and do a camo challenge after not having anything to grind or unlock. I think I'm going to do a sawtooth later today, too, because it was a lot of fun grinding camos, and I'm slowly starting to realize I might be addicted to grinding camos, because now that I have everything diamond within multiplayer i kind of feel bored and i'm still not gonna touch zombies yet i tried doing some camel grinding on zombies and it was a pain for those that are wondering for the ptrs challenges if you haven't leveled it up yet or if you don't have it gold yourself all the challenges are the exact same as the snipers you got your eliminations headshots multi kills bloodthirsties long shots close range kills and kills while holding your breath the attachment kills are quick scoping or shortly after aiming down sight which with the ptrs you pretty much have to be spamming your gun the second you start aiming down sight with the ads time of the ptrs i noticed that if you aim down sight and wait for your reticle to be visible sometimes it won't count because it'll be too slow that's just a con of the ptrs but it's quick scope kills and then it's kills while moving and then it is kills while crouched or prone with specific attachments. I'll have the attachment list on screen so you guys can just look at the attachments that you need. But everything else is the exact same. But by far, this is the best sniper to use in the game right now. I have a lot of fun with it. I actually got a nuke in the background gameplay that you're going to see. And even in Warzone, it's incredible. I think it's one of my favorite snipers to use in Warzone right now. I also haven't sniped in a long time, so it could just be the feeling of sniping in Warzone being really nice. But the PTRS, pretty decent. One shot headshots as expected. And if you hit body shots, you actually do a lot of damage. And usually it's a two shot kill if somehow your first bullet doesn't manage to kill them. One of my friends, Special Service, actually found a ground loot PTRS with explosive rounds, but you can't actually equip explosive rounds yourself. So I don't know if they just took it out of the game because it was so overpowered. Because trust me, when Special Service had the PTRS with explosive rounds in Warzone, that thing was like one shot kill even to the chest too. So maybe they just took it out for balancing reasons right now and replaced it with Hollow Point. Uh, but maybe that's a change that's going to stay permanent with in the game as well so overall a really fun gun to use in multiplayer and in warzone i actually did most of the camel grind in shipmas 24 7 surprisingly you throw a red dot on it throw on some quicker ads and movement attachments on that bad boy and it's pretty much like running around with an svt or an m1 grand it's pretty fun to use especially with explosive barrels also i know this is like really random but i just remembered i was going to ask this in this video so you guys know like the lighting in the room for like the background lighting usually it's like this and it's kind of like gamer lighting i have like the philips hue bulbs that change colors but i actually very much enjoy the natural lighting or like the warm white lighting compared to the gamer lighting so you guys will have to let me know in the comment section down below and we might as well get this out of the way um while i keep continuing to talk about the ptrs and i know i leaked this like a month ago but officially on gamersubs.gg the cold ones podcast flavors are now out the pina colada and the strawberry daiquiri are the ones that you can actually buy now and i accidentally leaked those a while ago but you can now officially buy them rather than having your favorite camel grinding youtuber leak them the ptrs overall a pretty fun gun to use. It's not as good as like a Barrett 50 Cal or the original PTRS from World at War, but it's still pretty close in terms of performance. It has an extremely fast fire rate. It obviously has high recoil to uh, balance out some of the high damage and high fire rate that the gun does have. It definitely performs better in Vanguard compared to Warzone, and camel grinding was extremely easy. I as I said earlier, I sat in ship miss basically the entire time grinding this weapon, and I only went into big map blitz when I did long shots, and even then long shots were done extremely fast. You can pretty much run around with this gun like it's a sniper or like it's a marksman rifle if you really want, and then almost to the point of a semi-auto assault rifle. Like, there was one point in shipment with a specific set of attachments where I was basically treating it like the FAL from Modern Warfare 2019. I threw on iron sights, the fast movement speed attachments, and it was a lot of fun to use. So 
getting gold in it was pretty easy as well so for those grinding diamond snipers right now who maybe have like one or two snipers gold if you want to get diamond early use the ptrs uh right now in the game i would recommend getting the car 98k gold the three line gold and the ptrs gold the only reason i don't recommend the type 99 right now is because it gets too many hit markers especially in core and then when you go to hardcore you're going to deal with all the the bs that hardcore entails with it as well and the reason i say the three line rifle is because for those that don't know the three line rifle used to have a challenge that was 100 bloodthirsties that 100 bloodthirsties was then changed to 100 crouch slash prone kills which completely took away the bloodthirsty challenge on that gun and i think it still might be the 100 crouch and prone kills but they might have changed it to 30 bloodthirsties regardless of that challenge which they have made way easier than any other sniper in the game it is still miles better than the type 99 so the three line car 98 and ptrs are easy unlocks for gold and i think a lot of people are going to have fun with the ptrs i haven't seen it being used very much within the game i think that's just because everyone's on the initial atomic camel grind i've only come across two other people actually using it in ship miss or in any other game mode i think that's probably because they're done the atomic grind up to the point where they want to just get the dlc weapons done and i just remembered while talking about getting camos done i still have to go and get all of these guns dark aether at some point which i'm still waiting for that round based map and of course we're still waiting for that panzer to be fixed but dang that kind of demotivated me because i just realized i have to not only do all the base weapons in the game in zombies but i have to do the dlc weapons too hopefully by the time summer is around and i actually decide to go on the dark aether grind that a lot of the issues that zombies is having right now is fixed or remedied to some aspect but overall fast easy grind if you're used to camel grinding in this game and you kind of know the ins and outs of the best ways to level up weapons you can pretty much get the PCRS or any gun gold, to be honest. Gold within like two hours. It probably took me two and a half from level zero to max level to get this thing gold. It's really easy, especially with the five times XP right now. If you're a good player, of course, it's a lot easier to jump into ship miss, even with a sniper and get a bunch of kills leveled up pretty fast. But take advantage of this five times XP because it's double weapon XP, double player, uh, double clan, double operator. And there's one more in there as well. I'm just not remembering it right now. So take advantage of it because I think it goes away January 1st. And then we're probably not going to have a double weapon XP weekend or event for a while. But who knows? Because it feels like ever since the game came out, it's only been double weapon XP or double XP to some extent. With that being said, that's the PTRS. Hope you guys did enjoy. Uh, I'm about to head out. Use code wild on gamersteps.gg for 10% off. And uh, if there is one, I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace. Yo! That kid got nuked on in his fucking live stream. That's embarrassing. <laughs> That's fucking great. Hey, Iron D Jaguar, I just want to get nuked on while you're fucking live. That must be embarrassing. I'd be pretty upset, personally. I, I wouldn't be very happy. Time. What do you want? I mean, do better. That's yeah. one thing I have to say is do better. I'm, 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 I'm,